Hey everybody, in this episode we're going to talk about the uh, peeled knuckle or what's commonly referred to as a sirloin tip and we're going to show you a diagram on this ham here on your different muscles that surround your leg bone. Now this is a ham but this, the muscles are the same as on a beef, same as a cow. There's four major muscles that surround this uh, bone. This top muscle here, this long muscle that I'm circling right now, that's your top round. The circular muscle right here in between the bottom three is your eye of round. And this triangular muscle here is your bottom round. Now all of those together would be a full cut round steak. Now the muscle that is on the opposite side of the bone here, that is your knuckle or your sirloin tip. And that is the piece that we're going to be talking about today. Actually, it's not all about steaks. I mean, more than 98% of a beef animal is used. I mean, 60% of a beef animal goes to make other products other than meat. For example, one cowhide can make 18 soccer balls or 20 footballs. Did you know that six ounces of beef has all the protein you need for an entire day? Okay, the first thing we want to do is turn this upside down and take your knife and come in here and scoop this fat off the bottom portion of the knuckle. And also the word steak, S-T-E-A-K, comes from a derivative of the word stick. It used to be spelled S-T-E-I-K, which meant meat on a stick. Now the first thing I wanted to talk about is that a whole sirloin tip, when it comes off the cow, is actually like shaped like an egg or a football. It's about this long and it's elongated. It's kind of oval on both ends. It comes down to a point. But what happens is at the packing house, they go ahead and they cut the front portion off and they sell that as a separate piece of meat called a petite sirloin. And they cut it up and make petite sirloin steaks out of it. So actually we're working here with a partial knuckle but this is how they come in the grocery stores. Did you know that some of the other products that are made from cattle include candles, paint brushes, deodorant, dish soap, and toilet paper? Now one of the things you can do with a knuckle is cut it straight down starting from the flat face of it. Cutting it all the way across will give you a full sirloin tip steak. Now, not to be confused with the top sirloin steak that we have in the other video of mine, this is from the knuckle and it's called a sirloin tip steak, which is actually from part of your round meat. If you were to cut this just like this from front all the way to the back, you could make steaks out of the whole piece of sirloin tip. But we're going to go a little bit thicker now and make what they call a sirloin tip roast. Basically, it's the same cut, just thicker. The hamburger first debuted at the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis. You could purchase a hamburger then for five cents. Did you know that almost 2,000 quarter pound hamburgers can be made from the ground beef in one cow? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get one more roast off this piece here, and then we're gonna save the end for uh, probably some grinds or stew or something like that. Now once you get back towards the end of the sirloin tip, your muscles start to separate and it becomes more of the sinew and fat and stuff in between the muscles. So it doesn't really make a good steak or a roast. So usually we'll save these pieces, we'll bone it out and make like stew and stuff like that out of it. We'll, we'll show you that a little bit later on. But we're going to go ahead and take another one here and we're going to show you some other cuts you can get off of a sirloin tip. Now you can see here as we bring the face of this up that there's two different muscles here. There's this round center muscle right here has a little bit of a, a seam in it and then you have this big cap muscle that covers the outside of it. This cap side is what's commonly referred to as the silver side of a tip because it's got this silvery sheen on the side of it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to try and remove this silver side muscle from the centerpiece muscle by uh, following the seam around 
Um, you can't really see the seam. You just got to kind of guess how close you're getting to it and take your blade and follow that muscle all the way around until you re remove that silver side cap muscle off your sirloin tip. And then we're going to go ahead and just clean this up a little bit and remove some of the excess skin and fat and trim it up a bit. Now that other video that I posted a, a while back that says uh, top round, uh, know your cuts, um, is pretty much the same from a sirloin tip. Any of your round meat muscles, you can produce pretty much the same cuts of, of meat. I mean, as far as like stir fry and cube steaks and sandwich steaks and stew and stuff like that. I mean, you can get all the same stuff from a sirloin tip as you can from an inside round. So there's two other videos that I'm going to post in the comments of this video. Uh, one is the one with the top round and the other one is the one with the top sirloin, sirloin or sirloin tip. What's the difference? Because you can compare to this video, you can take your sirloin tip steaks and compare them to your top sirloin steaks and you can also watch how the breakdown is of an inside round and it'll show you uh, the, the same cuts we can get off of this. But Right now I'm just cutting this uh, sirloin cap uh, against the grain to get some thin uh, silver sirloin tip steaks. And then by going a little bit thicker, about a half inch to three quarters of an inch, we can get some, uh, you know, some regular silver tip steaks or some people refer to them as dinner steaks or breakfast steaks. And by cleaning a little bit of the silver off here and uh, getting it down to just the muscle meat, we can get some of our merchandising cuts out of here like our stir fries and our um, fondues and stews and stuff like that. So when you're in the market for saving some money, it's always cheaper to buy these pieces of meat as a whole primal, hole in the bag they call it. And then you can take it home and cut it up and make your own cuts of meat and save yourself several dollars per pound. All right, now we're gonna slice some off here and make some stir fry. And we're going to repeat the same process and instead of making it into stir fry, we're going to make it into fondue. And by cutting it a little bit thicker, about three quarters of an inch to an inch, and chunking it into squares, we'll just make it into some stew meat. And this last piece here, we'll just cut it in half and make a couple cube steaks out of it.
Now for this other half of the knuckle that has that center muscle piece, we're going to go ahead and we're going to follow the seams around that and take that muscle completely out by itself, taking all the exterior pieces of muscles off of it, cleaning it up, and then this piece makes some really nice sandwich steaks. And there you have a few cuts that we can get out of a sirloin tip or a peeled knuckle. Uh, thin steaks, stir fry, fondue, stew, cap steaks, sirloin tip steaks, sirloin tip roast, center cut roast, sandwich steaks, and cube steaks. And thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video.